Automation is an integral part to any online business to make sure things stay running smoothly. You can do things like automate small repeatable tasks to make sure they get done when they need to get done and not when you think about them. Zapier is by far the best online tool for automation, supporting thousands of apps and even more actions to make sure you can automate whatever it is you need to. LearnDash also supports Zapier integration. And in this video, we're going to learn how to set up two automations with LearnDash and Zapier. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do from our WordPress dashboard is go to LearnDash add-ons. Here, we'll be able to install the Zapier for LearnDash add-on. We'll click Install Now, and then we'll activate the plugin. The next thing we'll do is go to LearnDash, and then the new menu item that's been added, Zapier. Here, we'll be able to add triggers. Triggers are actions that occur within LearnDash to set off a series of events. The Zapier Learn Dash integration supports several different triggers. Enroll into a course, lesson completed, topic completed, quiz passed, failed, or completed, and course completed. The two automations that we're going to create are email a student when they fail a quiz and add students who complete a course to a MailChimp mailing list. So first, let's add the quiz failed automation. We'll name this trigger email quiz failed and then we'll set the trigger to quiz failed. We can choose to trigger this automation with all quizzes or just one specific quiz. We'll choose all quizzes. The next thing that we need to do is add a webhook URL. When we create an automation in Zapier, we can do it through a Zapier webhook, which means that LearnDash will hit a specific URL and Zapier will grab the information from that URL. Let's see how that works in Zapier. In Zapier, we're going to click the Make a Zap button. If you don't have a Zapier account, you can sign up for a 14-day free trial. But Zapier also offers a free limited plan. So we're going to click make a zap. And we are going to choose the webhooks trigger. Notice that trigger is the same terminology that's used in our learn dash Zapier plugin. So we're going to choose webhook. And there are a couple of options we can choose here. We're going to choose catch hook. Basically, what this means is that learn dash will call the URL that we're about to get, and Zapier will catch it and grab all the information from it. We'll click Save and Continue, and we can skip this screen that says Pick Off a Child Key. If we know the data that's getting returned from our webhook, then we can specifically choose only the data we want. But we're going to utilize all of the data. So we'll click Continue. And now you can see that we have a URL that we're going to copy here. So we'll click copy and we'll go back to learn dash. We'll paste that URL in the webhook URL area and we'll click publish. We need to make sure that we publish this trigger in WordPress before we move on in Zapier. So let's go back to Zapier now and now what we're going to do is make sure our webhook is working. In order for this to function properly, we need at least one student to have failed a quiz. So if you don't have any students who have failed a quiz, I recommend that you go take one of your quizzes and fail it on purpose. That way, LearnDash can send actual data to Zapier. It could take a few minutes for Zapier to pull this data. So with our sample data collected, we'll click continue. And then we're told that our zap lacks an action step. Triggers need to set off a series of actions. 
So our trigger is to catch the webhook that learn dash sends to Zapier. And now we need to do something with that information. So we are going to send an email to the student who failed the quiz. And Zapier integrates with lots of email services, including Gmail, but we are going to use the email by Zapier action. And this will send an outbound email. We'll click save and continue. And then we can use the information from the webhook to fill in this email form. So under the to field, we can click the insert a field button to the right. And we can look through the information returned to grab the user's email address. Once we find it, we click it and it'll automatically get filled in. And then we could do the same thing for the subject. We'll do sorry you failed and then the quiz title. And then similarly, we'll fill in the body with information returned from the webhook. So we'll do hey and then we can grab the user's first name and then fill out the rest of the email. It's worth noting that we could also use the search field to narrow down the results from the webhook in case there's a lot, which there are here. So we created this email saying, looks like you didn't pass the name of the quiz from the name of the course. Is there anything I can do to make the material clearer? The last thing we'll do here is add a from name. So we want to make sure that our name shows up in the from field. And we want to set the reply to address. This is because Zapier will be sending the email from a custom zapiermail.com email address, but we want them to respond to our actual email address. So we'll add that here. The rest we can leave blank and then we'll click continue. Once we create the zap, we'll have the option to test the email or skip the test. I've tested this in the past and I know it works, so I'm going to go ahead and skip the test here. I recommend that you test it if it's your first time doing this. Then we'll click finish. And now we need to name the zap email quiz fail. And we need to turn it on. Once it's turned on, it'll start working for us. The next automation that we're going to set up is to send anybody who completes the course to a custom MailChimp list. So under the learn dash Zapier add on, we'll click add trigger. We'll call this course complete MailChimp. We'll select the trigger as course completed. And for this one, we're actually going to pick a specific course and that'll be the how to work from home course. And then again, we'll need a webhook URL. So we will go back to Zapier and we'll click make another zap. We'll choose webhooks as the trigger. We'll choose catch hook again. We'll skip over the child key form. And then we'll copy the hook. We'll paste that in and we'll click publish. And again, we're actually going to need a user who has completed the course. So if you don't have anybody who's completed the course, you should go to the user section and just complete the course for yourself or somebody else so that we have data to send to Zapier. We'll click OK, I did this. Once the sample data is pulled, we can check it and then click continue. And once again, we need to add an action step. So let's go ahead and do that. MailChimp is one of the hundreds of apps that connects to Zapier. So we can choose that from the list. And then we can choose an action. We want to add or update any subscriber who completes a course in LearnDash. So we'll choose add update subscriber and then click continue. Now we need to connect our MailChimp account. So we'll click connect an account. And then we can click save and continue. Now it's time to add the user to a list. I have created a specific list for folks who have completed this course. So we'll add them to that one. And then in the subscriber email field, we can click insert a field and find the user's email address. We'll add that and then we'll leave all the optional fields blank. 
we'll click continue. And this is a test that we actually want to run. So let's go ahead and click send test to MailChimp. Zapier will do that and it'll tell us that it was successful. And then we can actually double check that in MailChimp. So you can see that a new email address has been added to our completed remote work course list. Once we confirm that, we can click finish, give it a name, and then turn it on. So that's it for this video. In it, we learned about automation and how to use Zapier, and specifically how to use LearnDash with Zapier to create a couple of really great automations. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.